this is a service pin. My first service pin was plain. This is my, oh, this has, I think, two diamond chips. This has two little diamond chips. This would be my um, 10, I, I guess 10 or 20 year pin. I think my five year was a red ruby. And as each stage of your life goes on, they add a diamond into it or a chip. I'm not sure if it's a real diamond or not. These were, I have some silver ones also. These are my five year gold wings that we all received at five years. That would designate who was the senior people on board when you would fly. The others had silver if they were under five. And since we have merged with US Air, these are our new wings. They're kind of nondescript. This, that's actually an eagle, if you can tell or not. Not very, it doesn't have any AA or anything on it at all. These used to be, we used to have, and I do have them somewhere. These were little uh, flight attendant wings we would give to little kids who would come on. We would call them junior pilot surge. And these are, um, these are, were the sticky ones, but I always had to tell the parents, don't forget to remove the sticky before you wash it, or you could be a, have a permanent AA pair of wings on your clothing. Um, we used to have the plastic pins. Now we have some other pins. Wait till you see these folks. And I carry these now for the new pilot and uh, stewardess wings, whatever you want to be. Flight attendant, stewardess, purser, it, it covers it all. These are the newest ones, and I give these to the kids when they get on the airplane. I usually try to keep a couple pair in my pocket and tell them if you really, you know, especially if they're loud, if you're really good on the flight, I have something special for you at the end. This is what I give them. We also have booklets, they're passport booklets, and we can actually uh, sign them, have the captain sign them, and uh, it lists the mileage and where they have traveled to, what destination, the dates and everything we put on there. So it's like, and they carry it with them on future flights and they can log in every time they fly. This stuff, oh. <clears throat> hang on a minute. This, is what I have now. These are my new wings. These are, this is 40, these are 50, this is the um, American Legacy, new Legacy with the US Air combo. My supervisor was precious enough to deliver these to me after a Hong Kong trip. But wait, I have more. He gave me a picture for each year, or I'm sorry, each decade that I flew. Starting off, Our class number was 67-1 because we were the class, first class of 1961 American Airlines stewardess graduates. 10 years later or so. Oh, wait a minute. I missed one. I missed one. How could I miss that beauty? <laughs> it looks like I'm kind of maybe hung over or drunk. I'm not sure, but it was the 70s. What can I say? San Francisco. Christy and I used to wear these hats. Another flight attendant I flew with all the time. We used to wear these hats very proudly and uh, you kept your head warm too if you had short hair. Next, I am in Dallas-Fort Worth. I am in a maternity uniform dress. Uh, pregnant with Sean. 
and I flew up to six months, which is the most you can fly when uh, you're pregnant. And that's the end. Anyway, thanks for listening. If you have any more questions, I'd love to answer them for you. I've got lots of more stories to tell and uh, exciting times ahead. I'm still flying high.